Hello, everyone. Uh, this session is one of the most important sessions of files. Brainstorming in essay. I'm going to be giving you an overview of the essay and how the brainstorming should be done. First, the essay rubric. Rubric means set of instructions for the essay. Writing task two. When you go in the real exam, this is what it will look like. You should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Write about the following topic. And below this, the topic would come. After the topic, it will be written, give reasons for your answer, and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience. Write at least 250 words. Now let us look at the topic. The topic is children who are brought up in families that do not have large amounts of money are better prepared to deal with problems of adult life than children brought up by wealthy parents. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this opinion? Now this is an essay rubric and the copy of an essay which came in the real exam. Now the essay topics. We have about 20 background topics, which are advertising, environment, music, clothes, fashion, town and city, physical appearance, business, accommodation, books and films, sports, technology, relationships, holiday, personality, shopping, weather, health, work, education, food. And we have got seven types of tasks. The first one is agree or disagree. Second is cause, effect, and remedies. Third is advantages and disadvantages. Fourth is discussion. Fifth is question type. Sixth is positive or negative development. And seventh is a hybrid type of an essay. So let us look at them one by one how we should be phrasing them out. First, parts of the essay. We have three parts of the essay, introduction, a body, and a conclusion. The word limit is 250 to 280 words. Subtypes of agree and disagree. To what extent do you agree or disagree? To what extent do you disagree or agree? Both will have five paras each. Do you agree or disagree? Four paras. Do you disagree or agree? Again, four paras. Subtypes of cause, effect, and remedies. What are the causes? What are the effects? What are the remedies or the solutions? What are the effects and solutions? What are the causes and solutions? What are the causes and effects? What are the causes, effects, and solutions? Everyone will be having four paras each. Types of advantages and disadvantages. What are the advantages and disadvantages? What are the disadvantages and advantages? Do the advantages outnumber disadvantages? Do the disadvantages outnumber advantages? The first two will be four paras each, and the last two will be five paras each. Subtypes of discuss. Simply discuss. Discuss both sides. Discuss both sides and give your opinion. All of them will be having four paras each. Question-based essays. Now, it will depend how many questions are there in the essay topic. It can be four paras or it can be five paras, depending on the question number. Positive or negative development. Four paras. Hybrid. Mixture of many. Four paras. Now, the planning of the essay. Before writing the introduction, we should read the statement very carefully. We should underline the keywords. We should understand the central topic, the background, and the rephrased statement. We should make a plan of action and an overview looking into the task. Now the introduction, para breakdown. One para, 30 to 50 words, three to four sentences using PT technology. PT stands for paraphrasing, one, two sentences, and T stands for thesis statement. 
that is one sentence now the body breakdown one para 80 to 90 words five to seven sentences using msef strategy now what is this strategy sentence one will be the main point sentence two and three are going to be supporting points sentence four and five can be an example and sentence six will be the final wrap up conclusion para breakdown one para 30 to 50 words two three sentences using asr strategy now what is asr strategy a is answering the topic s is summarizing the essay and r is recommendation which is optional now let us do some extensive brainstorming i will give you one essay and multiple forms let us see this one essay now this is the statement of the essay i will read it only once this is the statement which i'm marking here and this is the task that you have to do now the background statement is some people feel that media like the press television and the internet should be more strictly controlled others believe that if anything the controls should be loosened to give people freer access to information this is the background which is going to come in the next 10 topics now where do you stand on this issue is the task do some brainstorming here before you write the essay let us see one more how far do you agree with loosening the controls the topic is same the background topic is same but the task is varying which is extremely important for you to understand third discuss the dangers and advantages media controls were further relaxed fourth what are the disadvantages of not relaxing media controls further and where do you stand on this issue fifth discuss the problems that might arise if the controls were relaxed and give your own opinion on this issue sixth is this fear justified give reasons for your answer seventh what are the dangers of such freedom do you feel there should be more controls over the media or do you think that restrictions in place are too tight eighth to what extent do you disagree with the idea of reducing media controls? Have you any reservations either way? Ninth, discuss the arguments for and against the latter idea and give your own views. Tenth, should the controls be made tighter or should there be more freedom for the media? These are all the discussion topics for a single question type. Now you can imagine the permutation and combinations. What can it be? Remember one thing, till you do not discuss, till you do not understand the question type, till you do not understand the background topic, it is next to impossible for you to form a perfect essay. With this, we come to the end of our session and I hope that you have learned a lot. Subscribe to our channel, like, comment and share that will increase our confidence to make such videos. Thank you.